A one-day community sensitization program against drug abuse and trafficking has been organized in Funtua, local government area of Katsina State. The program was organized by the wife of the Katsina State Governor, Hadiza Matsari, towards reducing the menace of drug addiction in the society. TVC News Katsina correspondent Awal Ibrahim has details. Speakers at this event identify an urgent need for all to intensify campaigns against the trafficking and misuse of drugs or other illicit substances. Speaker of the Kazuno State House of Assembly discloses that the House will soon review most of the laws relating to illicit drugs or substances in order to meet up with current realities. On his part, the acting chief judge of Kazuno State is of the view that community-based sensitization is one of the best ways to address drug trafficking abuse and addiction in a society. He adds that banning the importation of substances like codeine is not enough. The government has banned it, but what do you do? If you still have somebody selling codeine, there is no sanction in the law. That are you selling it off shelf? It's not a prescription drug. You can get it anywhere. So there are a lot of loopholes and there are various means of intoxication, of addiction that has crept up now, that you have to look at them, give suggestion to the House of Assembly so that the laws are enhanced where necessary the laws are made. Other speakers are of the opinion that drugs addiction is doing more harm to the future of the country, hence the need for all hands to be on the deck. We uh, launched a campaign uh, early this year in January, you could remember, uh, for the mothers to say no against drug abuse. And uh, since then, uh, various NGOs have been uh, partaking in the campaign. And now today we are here in Fontua uh, with our excellency, just an initiative to mount a campaign, a uh, sensitization workshop against uh, this menace. Certainly, the youth are in trouble and the society is in trouble because they are engulfed into the issue of uh, drug abuse. And among the most difficult or the most serious effect is that it affects the productive uh, uh, youth who are supposed to be there in the schools, in their working places, to be able to be meaningful to themselves and productive to the society. Unfortunately, the reverse is the case. The various law enforcement agencies operating within the state express their willingness and commitment to tracking and apprehending traffickers and users. Last year we arrested 732 and from January to date, we arrested 301, that is within four months. So that is, to, uh, most of the 95% of them are users. So that is why the high rate of use is, is going high. Religious and traditional leaders called on government at all levels to intensify women and youth empowerment programs with the aim of reducing idleness and other social vices in the society. Traditional musicians added color to the occasion with sensitization songs on the negative effects of drugs abuse. Awal Ibrahim, TVC News, Kasana.